Hey guys, what is up? It's been a while since I've actually talked to the camera. I feel like all of my latest videos have been of me bullet journaling where the camera is set up on the tripod and I don't even talk to the camera. So I'm excited to kind of give an intro for this video. I wanted to do a tour of my bullet journal stuff because I just finished up, I just posted an apartment tour and um, I thought I'd do kind of like a tour of my bullet journal stuff for my other side of my YouTube channel. So I have like the bullet journal side and then I have like the vlog side. So the vlog side, I showed the apartment tour and then I figured I'd do the bullet journal side. I'd show you a bullet journal. Uh, tour. Got it. Coming up, I'll show you a tour of all the supplies I use and things like that. So I hope you enjoy. So here is where I keep all of my bullet journal stuff. So I'll quick show you. This is my two previous bullet journals that I've done flip throughs videos of. Then I have a container here filled with different types of pens. I have three different types of pens in here. You like my little divider. I cut out a little piece of cardboard to divide up the pens. I have, let's see what these are. Paper Mate Flare. These are really nice. I got a ton of different colors in them. The tip of it, like a felt kind of tip. Maybe I'll demonstrate how they write. Yeah, let's, let's really do this. And I will put links in the description for all of the pens I'm showing and all of those supplies. But I did launch my website last week and I have a whole, this isn't focusing because that's there. Okay. And I have a whole article on the supplies, the basic supplies you need for bullet journaling, but I didn't really go into these extra supplies for pens. So this is kind of might be a nice resource, but definitely check out my new website. It is, I'll write it down here with this pen. Lisey, watching like my phone screen while I write this. Lynn dot com l e e c i e l i n n dot com okay so go check it out yeah so this is kind of how this paper mate flare writes a little bit um like a little bit dragged but a really kind of a pretty i don't know i don't know if i'm helping at all and then i also have these paper mate inkjoy gel pens which are great to write with. I really enjoy writing with these, let's say. Shout out to my subscribers. It writes really smoothly, a lot more smoothly than the paper mates. I think I got those to practice my handwriting. And then these ones are just really gooey and fun to write with. So I do like these. And then lastly, I do have some a uh, type of calligraphy pen, which is, let's see what I got. Touch. I'll have to look up what these are. I must have found them. Someone must have recommended it, but yeah, it's a calligraphy tip. And I just drank a ton of coffee, so my hand's shaky. But thank you to all my subscribers. I really appreciate all of the support and you actually watching my videos. So I did want to thank everyone, so this is kind of a way to do it. But yeah, so these are my three pens that I have in here. I use them kind of sparingly. I really just use my basics that I wrote about in my blog post. It's the Tombow Mono drawing pens. I use Tombow calligraphy pens. And that's pretty much it. I don't really delve into these pens a lot. Moving on. Now I do use my Tombow dual brush pens every month. You guys have seen these. I'm missing some because I have some for April that I'm doing the colors and I have my March ones still out. So of course I love these. These are amazing. These write beautifully. Let's see if I can. Ooh, I'm so shaky, sorry. Whoa, Alicia. April already okay and of course they have the dual tips so we got the calligraphy side and then the pen side which is nice too beautiful flower okay 
I have this wonderful bag for my bullet journal and my pens made by Erin Condren. My sister had found it and ordered it for me. And it's customized to have my name on it. It's kind of dirty now because I take it everywhere. But it's so handy to keep together my bullet journal. So I always fill out a some lines a day every day as well. It's a five-year memory book, and I started it last year because my sister from Lore Planning 74, she recommended it to me. And what you do, you write down just a few things every day, and I'm already on my second year of doing this, and then it'll go for three more years, and then you can kind of see what you did exactly on each day of the year. So very fun to, to write about. Then in here I have the main pens I'm using, which are a lot and a little ruler, and of course, white out. I just got these white gel pens, jelly rolls, and then these are the pens I was talking about. You've seen them so many times. This is all I use are the Mono Tombow draw Tombow Mono Drawing Pens, one, three, and five. These are the colors I've been using for March of the Tombow pens. So for the Paper Mate flares, I did end up using these for the month of March to fill out my gratitude log. I've been rotating between four colors here. So that's why these are in my kit. And then I have a regular pen, pencil, eraser, little things like that. And these are those Tombow calligraphy pens I was talking about that I love. I use them all the time. There's a hard tip and a soft tip. So I kind of rotate which one I'm feeling that day. So that all sits in there. Then I have my traveler's notebook, as you guys have seen, which is beautiful. It was made by Joan Lee Fish, and they're not taking orders right now as far as I know, and I checked maybe two weeks ago when I was first writing my articles on my website, and it's so sad because they do beautiful work. I mean, even the inside, it's, it's really gorgeous. So you guys have seen my traveler's notebook. This is it. Then this last thing, this drawer is filled with bullet journal stuff. It's an absolute mess, but let's delve into it. Who was I inspired by? I think Jordan Clark on YouTube. She does stuff where she tapes down this paper in her bullet journal and kind of makes it as an accent point. And I really liked it. And I got this when I ordered like nut pods on through Amazon or something. Just to, it was wrapped in paper. And so I kept the paper so I can use it later. Then I have a few pen sets from my friends because they know I love bullet journaling. This, this is from my friend Jessica. And then my friend Allie got me these pens. And I love I love them both. They both look work great. Then these are my color Tombos that I'm using for the month of April. You guys have seen it's like a retro theme, really cutesy, pastel-y color. So that's why those are set aside in there. This is to download videos and pictures off of my phone onto my computer. Then this cup is for when I am changing out the ink in my fountain pen. So you use like two cups. And then I also have lots of other pens. I have extra, extra, extra of the Tombow Mono drawing pens. So I don't ever lose or run out of them because I use them all the time. And then I also have Faber-Castell, which I did talk about in the article I wrote. These are also great options, especially for beginner bujoers. This is the first type of pen I used. And they're about the same price as the Tombow Mono drawing pens, but and they come in four different sizes, which is helpful when you're trying to draw different things. And then down in here, I have all the inks that my sister, my sister had bought me my fountain pen, and she got me a ton of inks too to try. So I have like blue, black, I have red, purple, and they're all kind of down there inside that cup. Then I have washi tape, which I got from Michaels. I go over all this in those articles, but I'll show you here. This is when I did like a boho theme for my bullet journal. If you guys saw my second bullet journal, I'll link the flip throughs down in the description so you guys can check them out if you haven't seen them already. And then I have Christmas theme washi. Then let's see here. Oh, I ordered more. See, I'm really prepared. Then I always use post-it notes. I found this tip from my sister to plan out your monthly or your whole bullet journal if you're starting a new bullet journal. Just write on a post-it like, oh, I'm going to do a weekly here. or I'm going to do a gratitude log here. Put on a post-it and then put it in your bullet journal so you can plan it out before you draw something and regret drawing it later. This I bought an external hard drive finally on Amazon to hold all these pictures and videos because it takes up so much space on my old computer. 
then let's see what else I have. This is a sticker book I've showed you guys before. I do it to fill out my weeklies. I got it from Michael's. They kind of look like this. Really pretty, all different styles in here. Then I have another set of dual brush pens. Then I have my, where is my finger that it's showing on camera? It's creeping me out. Oh, it's my pinky. Okay, sorry guys, that was creepy. This is a Buddhism book that my sister got me because she knows I'm into that and kind of learning about it. So she got me that, so I put it in there. Then I have pens. These pens are, gosh, I got them so long ago. And I used to use them all the time. I don't use them as much anymore. Oh, St St Stadler? Stadler? That sounds familiar. Stadler Fine Liner, which they write so nicely. You can see. They write so nicely and they're nice and thin. I definitely recommend this pen set if you're looking for a ton of different colors to kind of decorate your bullet journal. I use these a lot in my first bullet journal. If you'll see my flip through, all of those colorful lettering I did is done by these pens and then I got into more like the minimalist theme so all I usually use is black and white now then I have this book that my sister got me start where you are which is a journal book for self-exploration this is something I got sent for free by Tombow it's a adhesive tape I don't know where this is from this is my fountain pen right here it's so beautiful my sister knows that my favorite color is gold and she got me, I'll try to see if I can see what brand it is. I'm trying to focus here. There it is. It's so pretty. Oh, yeah, it's a Pilot. Does that make sense? Pilot? Pilot fountain pen? I think so. And then finishing up here, we have an extra thing of ink. This is a black ink to go in my fountain pen. I have my compass which I usually never use. I usually just find circular objects around my house and trace those. It's a lot easier. I just, I don't know why I have such difficulty using a compass, but I do. And then these are just extra traveler's inserts, traveler's notebook inserts whenever I'm done with my other ones. And I guess I had another tape in here. I didn't even know. Hmm, interesting. Now I've made a mess. So I guess that's it. And now I'm going to show you kind of behind the scenes of how I plan out my monthlies, how I go on Pinterest, kind of get inspired by pictures and do my drawings. So here we go. Here is my bullet journal Pinterest board here. I just typed in like retro pictures and uh, just saved up a ton and kind of got inspired for the retro theme for this month. It's cutesy. It's like pinks and blues little things like that. So it was fun to look back at these pictures. And you'll see here I have my telephone like that. I had just Googled a picture of, what is it called? A rotary phone, I think, and then drew it to match there. Then my kitchen here, that was really fun to draw. It's kind of a mixture of a lot of different pictures that I'll show just here in a second. The first one I'll zoom in is the lantern of how, what picture inspired me for that. And that is right here just the second one in and then these two things in my kitchen are almost an exact replica of a kitchen I saw on Pinterest so I'll show you that right here if you see the two the refrigerator and the oven the double oven right there that's in the flooring I copied from there and then I have little odds and ends objects around the kitchen here and there the spatula cup there like a measure a weight thing and then a little shelf and you'll see why I was inspired by those things here. Spatula cup like you saw. And then here's a shelf with all a lot of different items that I just chose and picked the ones that I wanted to include. And that's kind of how I drew my kitchen, just looked at a couple pictures. Here is a stereo that I got inspired by this picture right there. So just redrew it. And then this one was really fun, a little food cart or like a dessert cart, which I'll show you. There were a few pictures one right here, kind of a side view of it. And then I also found another view of it from more of the front so I could draw it more easily. And then I also found, I was inspired by a little milkshake picture, which I'll show right here. Cute, love it. And then for this last page was kind of just odds and ends inspiration from random pictures. I enjoyed that little tour and then I ended up doing a couple of other things with it like a March flip through and then a behind the scenes of my April 
monthly, like it turned into something crazy. So sorry about that, but I, I think it might be something fun and different than me just like drawing something out or doing like a weekly or a monthly. I still plan to do a couple, either a weekly or something for this month with a retro theme. I have a few ideas in mind. I just haven't put them down on paper yet. So stay tuned for some upcoming videos. I'm still trying to post weekly. And this week I happen to have two videos go up on kind of the vlog side of my channel and the bullet journal side because I've been kind of neglecting the vlog side. So thank you for watching and stay tuned for the rest of April. I think it'll be a fun month with the retro theme. Let me think of something for a sign off. And until next time.